We got a snake out here crossing the road very slowly. Hi guys, Lance here from the Rocky Mountain Life Channel. Today, I'm riding with a new friend. His name is Stuart. He's a subscriber that I met through my channel. And uh, he also has a 2021 Beta 500 RRS. This is a lot cleaner than mine. Doesn't have any broken plastics on it yet. <laughs> And this is our first ride together. And we have met up here at a place that's about 13 miles or so north of Woodland Park, Colorado. And it is beautiful up here. As you can see, there's homes. And you can also tell there's been a fire. I believe this fire was 2001. So definitely a lot fewer trees than what there used to be but it's worked out really good this morning when I left my house in Colorado Springs this morning it was cold 34 degrees and foggy couldn't even see to the end of my block and it was foggy and cold and bad visibility until I climbed up to Woodland Park and then I got up above the fog and now it's like this it's beautiful and it's 60 65 degrees my bike says perfect riding weather and uh, we're gonna hit a variety of trails and things today I think we're just kind of tooling around this area here just to kind of look around kind of get the legs warmed up a little bit but I'm really excited because the weather is just perfect it's not even that breezy it's always a little breezy out here in these mountains but it's not bad and I think it's going to be a beautiful ride. So there's a house up here, obviously. But look at that view. <laughs> you can see why you'd want to live up on this little knob here. Look at that. I could wake up and look at that every day. So look at this. We got a snake out here crossing the road very slowly dogs over here in this yard so I'm not sure you want to go up in there buddy I don't know what kind it is it's not a rattlesnake it's probably harmless to us but still really cool to see the interesting things you find if you just slow down <laughs> look around beautiful day ah oh, what a beautiful place too you can see why people like to live out here. I could totally do it. As long as I didn't have to drive into work. <laughs> well, some of you might recognize this. This is part of Rainbow Falls. We actually came into it from the north side, not through the main entrance. This is, uh, I've been out here a couple, three times already with this bike. It's a place that's easy to get to pretty well maintained they've got outhouses the parking area and as you can see certainly not an ugly ride today's Tuesday so shouldn't be all that crowded we're not going to be dodging a whole bunch of ATVs and things so it should be fun it's already early May <laughs> but these trees haven't started budding yet and the grass hasn't really started greening up a whole lot. You can see a little bit along the edge of the road here that's green. But uh, springtime at this elevation comes a bit late. <laughs> so yeah, it is a beautiful spring day out here, guys. Spectacular. There's almost nobody out here. The main parking area where you usually park to offload your bike is empty or was half an hour ago, 30 45 minutes ago when we came by it. The weather's great. Very slight breeze. Trees smell good. I know I talk about that on all my recent videos about smelling the trees, but there's just something about the smell of the forest. 
it's just soothing and good for the soul. I talked about that on some of my videos last fall about resetting your soul. And that's what I'm doing out here today. So I really haven't done anything very significant yet this year as far as this trail goes. The last ride I did from the house a couple weeks ago, that was uh, more of a Jeep road. This is an ATV trail. So this is definitely gonna be a bigger test than what I did two weeks ago. See how rusty my skills are <laughs> after the winter layoff. Wow. and it's not my favorite thing. Ugh. There's a lot of rocks. Oh. <laughs> Low RPM in second gear. Not ideal. Ouch. <laughs> I don't remember this spot being this rough last year. I remember that being a rocky section, but I didn't remember it being quite that rough. Pretty place though. It really is a pretty place. <laughs> you get, get through those rocks and then you get into this stuff and it's smooth and easy. My only complaint is that loose sand. You know, small gravel sand. I don't particularly enjoy that either. But I am getting a little more used to it. Um, just because in these mountains around here, it's virtually everywhere. It's really hard to get away from. And I've also learned that the bike for the most part, we'll track pretty straight. I'll feel a little squirreliness, but as long as I don't start cranking on the handlebars too much, it usually just kind of pulls itself through it. It's corners that make me nervous in this soft stuff. I crashed going down this once when I first got the bike. First tip over actually was in this area. <laughs> there was still snow on the ground. That was November when that happened. So there was snow, not a lot, but a little bit. And you watch that video. In fact, if I remember, I'll uh, put it up in the screen, like uh, up there. <laughs> if I remember. I might not always go fast, but it doesn't mean I don't enjoy it when I feel like it's straight enough. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Grab a little air. I'm okay with that too. I just prefer to do it on straightaways. It is a beautiful day for a ride, guys. Had a lot of fun with my friend Stuart. Saw some nice country and did some nice chatting. Probably talked his ear off, but that's kind of what I do when it's a one on one situation. I can be uh, quite chatty. My dad says I have the gift of gab. I'm not sure that's meant as a compliment. Anyways, guys, I'm excited to get out and do this ride more often. Definitely going to get some more footage for you guys. And we'll see how this beta does in year two of ownership. I've got over a thousand miles on it now, over 50 hours. And I still love it. It's still been a great bike. It still is. Hi guys, thanks for coming along. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I will catch you next time. See ya.